everybody and welcome to this playthrough for Master Division in the Winter Major Tournament. The video is sponsored by Golf Clash and Playdemic, so let's go. I'm going to start off by showing off one of the new balls that you did get as the silver medal ball in the latest Champions 100 season. The only reason I'm actually using this is that I don't have any other power 4 balls. I would like to play with a power 4 ball on this uh, one hole one because I do want to play on the left. Max top spin and also uh, two bars of side spin to the right. You can see I'm coming slightly into overpower. I'm going to have to go with a little bit of overpower here. You don't have to play with a power 4 ball. And just to make sure that you uh, that you understand here, this ball has wind resistance 3, side spin 3, and power 4, which is as a kingmaker X. So that's the stats on this ball. I do want to get myself over here in the easiest way possible, because from this distance I'm going to rough bump. So, also, if you do have a kingmaker that you're going to play with a power 3 ball, you will have to go with... Very close to max overpower. I would say with Apocalypse Level 7, you will have to go with 50 to 75% overpower. If you do have an Apocalypse Level 6, you will have to go with max overpower if you do play with a Kingmaker. Also, when it comes to Apocalypse Level 6 here, it's definitely possible to get over there to the left, but as I said, we do need to use more overpower. 10% extra for the drive, very important as well, otherwise we're going to be way off. Our opponent here is going to play over to the right side, and I don't blame you for trying to do that, you know. It's just that I've been uh, been pure unlucky to bounce into the sand and stuff, so I've been going for to dial it in from the left side. I just don't want to go short in some form here and uh, have no chance uh, for the eagle from distance. But I've seen many shots been uh, not many, but I've seen some shots be dropping with a short iron from that distance as well. Okay. Now let's go for the rough bump, and I'm going to play this one as I would be having a slight, slight, slight topspin, like half a bar of topspin, putting the ball guy light in the hole, and then I'm going to adjust for medium distance with a 10% over adjustment. And even though it looks scary, but this is a shot that we should be able to handle when we're playing in Master. 5.7 rings is going to be the total. And we're going to hit this ball. Great! No! You see, even with a great shot, I'm going to get in. You can see how nicely that one rolls. And I come into the right side there and just miss it on the left. Ah! So that was unfortunate, but that's okay. Now, hole number two. I'm going to play with max topspin, which is going to be 7 bars. And I'm also going to play this one with 3 to 4 bars of side spin to the left. And I'm going to play with a kingmaker. You can see I backed up a little bit, putting myself with the blue ring among, uh, alongside the rough. With the th plus 13 yard mark. Then we're going to adjust for maximum distance with a 10% over adjustment here with Apocalypse level 6. We hit it perfect. Or not we, I hit it perfect. And we're going to bounce ourselves very nicely towards the top here. You can see here that we're coming, we still have a lot of margin or a lot of room to be able to get there to the top. So I think the maximum top spin on the Apocalypse of 6 is, is the spin adjustment to go with. But I would also say if you do have an Apocalypse of 7, remove a little bit of top spin instead. So you not, uh, don't have a risk of going too long. If you go too long, the eagle is definitely going to be in in very much risk. So our opponent is going to play with Apocalypse level 4 and I kind of like applaud players that is out there playing in Master with the, these low level clubs. Because it's going to of course be way tougher. But that is also why these guys are important. It doesn't really matter if I play with an Apoc 6 or X Mile 8 or Apocalypse 7. The important part is to understand how the hole is going to work and how we're going to play the hole. We might have to go with some overpower. We might have to go with a, a better ball to be able to achieve the same type of, uh, of situation. This shot from our opponent is an excellent shot with an Apocalypse level 4. 
My second shot here, I'm going to play with the Cataclysm level 7 to give myself the distance that is needed. I would like though to play with the Sniper. Because the Sniper is giving us a slight, slight better ball guideline. It's going to help us when it comes to going for the pin here. I'm going to use the middle of the rough here as a reference with the ball guideline slightly to the right side of the pin. And then we're going to adjust for medium distance with a 10% over adjustment. Which is going to be 8 rings. 8 rings here. And we're going to hit it perfect. And it's going to bounce nicely on the fairway. And we're going to come in too much to the left. So we didn't get the bounce that we wanted to here. And I think as well that it would have needed to go with a slight more adjustment here instead of just using eight rings i should be going to play this one nine hole in number four sorry no <laughs> hole number three par three and here we're gonna go for the pin of course that's for every part three stupid uh so we're going to play this one from medium distance of our club but the adjustment we're going to make it's going to be maximum distance with a 10% over adjustment. So with the sniper, we play it one on one plus one ring. So if we would be having 10.3 in win, we play it 11.3 instead. You can see our opponent coming in a little bit too much to left. And the thing that I'm going to do here is that I'm going to use a ball with a lot of wind resistance to give myself uh, the best possible chance for an all in one. And it's still the same type of method. I'm playing six bars of backspin and three bars of side spin to the right. Aiming up so the ball guideline is slightly pointing uh, past the pin to the right there with a second bounce on the fringe. With the spin added, and that's important to have in mind that the spin is added while doing this shot. There's six rings, and then we're going to play 9.6. So one on one plus one ring. And now we're not going to go with any curl, we're just going to take the shot and let the ball do the job. We bounce very nicely on the fire. Get in! Oh no, we went so short. Ah, not so short. We went short and I would say the only thing that we could do here, honestly, is to play this one with five and a half bar backspin instead. So now we're going to play the sand bump. So instead of going as many is doing, many player are doing to go for the rough bump on uh, in between the bunkers, I'm going to play the sand bump. I'm going to go for the center of the sand uh, on the sand pits there. And then I'm going to with wind that is going to be above 15. I'm going to go with 75% of overpower. If I do have wind, that is going to be below 15, I go max overpower. We do need to get this ball into the sand and roll up. You can see we came in very, very nicely and we're going to have a nice spot for the eagle. And you may be wondering, can you play this one when Apocalypse level 6? Yes, you can. And I actually, uh, if you do get the time, check out the latest super shot that I uploaded here on the channel. I actually made an hole in one with Apocalypse level 6 with the same type of approach. The only thing here to do here is to pay really close attention to the wind. Like if we do get a slight change of degree of in the wind, then we might have to go with full overpower or we need to take off some power instead. But like in the worst case scenario here, we kind of want it to be like our opponent got it here. We bounce in the rough even though we're aiming for the sand pit. And we're going to get the lucky bounce so we're not rolling over the complete green and having a very long wedge. But I will take this shot all day and every day for sure. Hold number five. And hole number 5 is going to be a tough one. I do suggest that you do play with a power 4 ball at least. But it's definitely possible to play with a power, a power 3 ball as well. I'm going to play with a power 3 ball in this example. But 
you're going to see where I do need a power 4 ball. Our opponent here is playing with a power 4 ball, yes. I think, yeah. The pig ball, yeah. I don't remember what it's called, but... It's a pig on it, at least. <laughs> Hits it perfect, going to curl it around here. Gonna come in, and you say, you know, this is a good shot from our opponent. A little bit short though, we do want to gain more distance than that, and we do want to get it as close to the rough there on top as possible. So we do have a lot of room. So, now I'm going to play with a Kingmaker, 10.4 in win, that's no problem. I'm going to use uh, the Cataclysm as my second club, because I do need distance. You can also play with the Guardian. If you do have it maxed out. I'm going to use the 10 plus yard mark here as a reference. Having the 4th ring touching the rough on the left. Max top spin with as much side spin that I possibly can. With Then with a max distance adjustment with a 10% downhill. And then we go with max curl. So the absolute max that you possibly can. And then we're going to bounce very nicely here and get a nice, hopefully a nice little roll here. But you can see here, we could definitely play this one with uh, with Apocalypse Level 7. Uh, to get more of this, and like to max topspin with that. So that's why I say, go with as much topspin that you possibly can. The reason I'm using the fourth ring there by the rough instead of using the red ring is if I do use the red ring, I'm going to overcurl it and risk going into the rough on the left. So that's why we're moving out the target a little bit there. Our opponent here is going to have to go to the island here. Doesn't have enough distance with the sniper here. And that's why, once again, power 4 ball is important, but that's also why a club with as much distance as possible for the second shot is necessary as well. So either the Cataclysm, if you do have it in level 6 or more, or you play with the Guardian that do give you more backspin, and you're going to see that backspin is going to be possible. And here you're going to see that even though I play with a Kingmaker and got... A very good dry, I would say. I still have to stretch out. I still have to go with own power. What is that? Max backspin. One bar of side spin to the left. I would like to go with two. We stretch out. Then we're going to over adjust this shot for 10%. I'm going to adjust this one for 10.3. Tiny bit of overpower, not much, around 25% of overpower. And we're gonna bounce nicely here. We come up here. We're going to get enough speed. Get in the hole! Close one as well. Close one as well. Two bars of size spin will be okay. But play with a power four ball if you can so you don't have to overpower your shot. Hole number six. Here I'm going to show you one shot. And here, in my opinion, it is important that you play with a ball that has less than power two. Power one, power zero, but also with as much wind resistance as possible. But if you don't have a wind resistance five or four ball, then I would suggest that you do still play the same. Or you choose and play on the right side. I'm going to play this one with five bars of backspin, five bars of side spin to the right. And then we're going to have the half of the red ring inside the rough on the top. Then we played one on one. So eight, for 8.1, we played 8.1 rings. Then we're going to hit it perfect. You can see here we bounce very nicely on the fairway. Coming in here, getting the hole! So close! But definitely a possible hole in one. I know it's a win 5 ball, power 0 ball. But if you do not have any type of special ball to play with on this particular par 3. And you only have power 3 balls to play with. Or maybe you have like a, a, na a navigator or a quasar where the wind is going to be extremely high then I would suggest you play on the right side trying to get the ball to roll down towards the pin there uh, and we do have a lot of room there to play the only important part to have in mind there if you play right is that you're going to over adjust their shot 20% this is something that I would absolutely not try to do because here the 
it, there isn't a consistent way to get the sand bump here and I don't know if our opponent trying to go for the sand or for the rough but the problem we get here is that when we do adjust from uh, for the side win here we're going to lose distance as we're dropping down further down into the sand and a great shot here going to give us get us lose more distance and then we get stuck in the bunker unfortunately hole number seven here we are going to go for either the dunk or the backspin approach I would say if you do play with a kingmaker it's very important that um, and they're not very important but then I think that the ba max backspin approach by the pin is going to be the play if you do play with a ball with more wind resistance I definitely think the dunk is going to be the play for the second shot but first we're going to take the drive 10% over adjustment important very important so we play max distance with a 10% over adjustment And here it's also important in my opinion to not go with max topspin because if we do go uh, I, and then I mean with apocalypse level 7 if I would be having apocalypse level 6 I would be going with max topspin but if I do have the max topspin with apocalypse level 7 we're going to roll too far and we're going to go into the uh, rough or into the sand on the top. You can see I'm changing I'm going to play with 6 bars and uh, Side and as much side spin as I possibly can playing it from the plus eight yard mark here and then we're going to play it for 10.6 rings and then we're going to go with max curl so nothing in between max curl You can see we're coming in very nicely, bounce very nicely. You can see how far we're going to roll even just using six bars of topspin. But we do want to get this far and I think this is going to be important. 398, perfect marker to start with. And our opponent is going to try to go with the max backspin approach as I'm going to do. We're going to play basically the same type of shot and we're both going to miss. Just slightly though, but we're going to miss. So, uh, do not forget that you can join patreon.com slash golf clash Tommy to get the updated text guides for the winter major tournament. Uh, if you are playing various division, and that's going to be excellent because you get for every division not just only for master that's going to be out today when this video is made which is tuesday and uh, that's always the day for the updated text guides and it's for sure going to help you improve your tournament score so my turn 11.7 and i'm going to stretch out here you can see we are in medium distance of our club but we're not going to play it medium distance here we should be playing this one medium slash maximum distance of our club with a 10 percent over adjustment to over adjust enough for the kick that we're going to get for the backspin here if i would be going for the dunk i would be playing it medium distance with no over adjustment so the reason though those adjustment changes is because we're just going to with a dunk go for the pin directly while we're here we're going to have to count for several bounces that are going to bounce us more to the left and therefore we need to over adjust it more we slightly missed that one as well and then we're going to play to hole number eight and here we're going to play the sand bump for you and i would be playing this one if i saw would be having six bars of topspin i would be using in this case i'm using almost eight bars of topspin which is too much I would be using seven bars of topspin if I do have wind below seven and a half and if I would be having wind that is above nine I would be playing with eight bars of topspin. I know this is a more aggressive approach but I want to show this one here as I do believe this is going to be a good way to play and a possible hole in one here. So we're going to hit the perfect. I played medium distance with a 35% over adjustment here. And we're coming in very nicely, but coming in a little bit too hot. 
The problem we can have here though is let's say you don't have a win 5 ball, you're going to get a higher win, then we do need to play with 8 bars of tops, so maybe 8.5. And there, then there is only two clubs that can uh, cope with that. That's Apocalypse Level 7 and Thor's Hammer 7 as a driver. Then we might have to step back and bounce on the fairway instead. And I'm not saying that's wrong. I just want to show you an alternative approach as we otherwise going to play on the island there. And we're going to play it uh, either on that position if we play with a power 3 ball. Or we're going to play with the, on the left side if we do play with a more wind resistant ball with our driver. This is a tough hole and I play 35% over adjustment here. And for the sand bump once again 35% over adjustment from medium distance of our club. Make sure that you use enough side spin to the left if you are playing it on the fairway before because it's going to push you to the right. Hole number 9, uh, last but not least, here I'm going to change back to a kingmaker, we don't need more, of course with a power 4 ball you're going to have, an, have a, like a shorter second shot and you're not going to be the, that depended on the drive here. I'm going to play with 6 bars of topspin, you could play with 7 if you want to, but I want to reduce a little bit and give myself a little bit more control, I know if I just get this ball to fire away I'm going to be able to read for the second shot. Plus two yard mark with the red ring just by the rough there in the bottom part of the bunker. Then we're going to over adjust 10%, sorry, we're going to over adjust 5% here. Because if when we're playing on the right side, I've noticed that it goes slightly downhill compared to playing on the left side. So I want you to add 5% to your adjust adjustment here and play with max distance number. Then, last but not least, we need to use curl. The ball should be just slightly outside the adjustment ring to the right. And then you're going to leave up a very nice shot for the pin with a sniper. So... Our opponent's going to do something that I don't really understand. But they're going to play himself up there to the left. And sure, we can lay up here on the left, but uh, I don't think that was the plan initially though. So, now for the second shot, we're going to play with the sniper. Here, we do need to play downhill. 10% downhill, and we're going to be good. I'm playing with the Cataclysm here, as I do have more distance, We can, but the thing that I want to come to uh, as for the really crappy swinglish explanation here is that you can play with the sniper to bounce there on the fairway Cataclysm works the same as the sniper in terms of adjustment we're going to play it maximum distance with a 10% over adjustment with no top spin no side spin whatsoever I could be playing this one with maybe like slightly less than half a bar backspin to, one, to half a bar backspin to get this ball to stop a little bit sooner but we're coming in very nicely here and get it very close for an albatross on hole number nine so thank you so much for watching this playthrough for master division in the winter major tournament if you do once again want to get more content here from the channel we have live streams every tournament and i play all the time an account in every division so join in, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell button so you do get a notification every time there is a live stream. Thank you so much again for watching the video sponsored by Golf Clash and Playdemic. Good luck in the Winter Major Tournament.